Hi everyone, let's get into a reading. So I just did a reading, I'm going to post it up, you know, probably close to the same time as this one, maybe a couple hours before or so, but, but I, in that reading I was getting that somebody's really jealous, they're really worried, it's like the tables have turned and they're kind of afraid that you're going to end up dating somebody else, maybe they don't know what you're doing right now, they don't know who you're with, they're trying to keep tabs on you. I also feel like they're really turned on by you right now because they're realizing how powerful you are. They're, it's like they have this new sense of attraction to you. So I'm going to do, it's kind of almost like an extension of that reading that I just did. And it's like, why, why did they, it's like they underestimated you. Show me, show me more about that, about them. You know, it's like they're just now kind of recognizing feelings and recognizing uh, like seeing you in a in a better light, seeing you in a higher light, seeing understanding you a little bit better. Why why are they okay? So four of swords, the hermit, the ace of swords. So they had some kind of truth and clarity. They might be in hermit mode, kind of finally listening to their inner voice, um, not listening to the opinions of others so much. Ace of swords, truth, clarity. Yeah, it's like they know that you're. They know you're not going to be single for long. They know that you're highly desirable. Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Five of Swords, Judgment. What is the Ace of Cups and Wheel of Fortune trying to tell me? Nine of Cups. Two of Swords. Okay, this person didn't realize how confident you are. Like, this person, it's almost like they're just now becoming aware of how confident you are. I really feel like they thought that you were insecure. It's almost like they made a judgment. It's like they, they expected you with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like they expected you to repeat some kind of cycle. With the judgment card, it's almost like they're judging you for... It's like we have these cards that are about conflict, competition. It's like I almost feel like they... It's like they didn't really fully understand you. They really thought that you were insecure, but I don't, I don't think that you ever were insecure. I think they really underestimated you. It's almost like they viewed you as somebody who's like blocked from getting their wish fulfillment. This, tell me more about this energy. Yeah, they, they thought that you were someone that liked the chase. They thought that you were someone that was insecure. They thought that you were someone that just wanted what they couldn't have. We have all these cards about like loss, like walking away, you know, regret, being left out in the cold, disappointment. And then we have someone that's like waiting, like someone who's like used to that energy. And with the sun, it's like they're like it's familiar to them. Like it seems positive to them, even though it's actually negative. Like, like they thought, yeah, they thought that you'd come rushing in and the more you get rejected, the harder you're going to try. This is someone who likes to play mind games. This is someone who likes to play mind games for sure. Yeah, they thought they were the one in control here. Almost like a false emperor where this person really needs to work on themselves to become a true emperor. It's almost like it's so strange because it's like someone that has control issues, but they they don't take control in the right ways. They take control in negative ways. Like this person thought they could kind of just do whatever they wanted, maybe have third parties, maybe Knight of Wands can be kind of an F boy, F girl energy. I re yeah, they really underestimated you. They really underestimated you. I feel like if you told them about, because especially with the Wheel of Fortune there, that can be like about like karmic cycles. And that could be like, it could be, I could see it as like past cycles as well. So if you open up to them about relationships you had been in a long time ago and, you know, you mentioned like, 
being um being cheated on or being in like a one-sided relationship or just kind of opening up about like things you've gone through with exes I almost feel like this person used that to their advantage when they wanted to push the limits they're like oh she let that guy cheat on her I bet and it could be male or female you know take it as it resonates if I say she and you know it's a he just reverse the roles or it could be two men or two women don't get caught up on gender but anyway it's it's like you know he has this energy of like Oh, she let that guy cheat on her in the past. I wonder if I could get away with having third parties or she let this person come in and out as they please, you know, hot and cold energy. I wonder if I could get away with those same things. It's almost like they used your past against you. And I feel like what this person didn't realize is I really, I tell me about this. Yeah, there's information coming in that they're going to receive and there it's going to cause them some anxiety. They thought they were going to have victory by by being sneaky, by using your past against you. And yeah, someone found out something here with the moon communication, something's coming to light and there's a new perspective. I I feel like I feel like they misunderstood something. There was some kind of miscommunication between you two. Because for some reason, and for some of you, you might not have said anything. For some of you, it might just simply be that um, th they might have just made these assumptions for some reason. But I feel like they didn't recognize that maybe those relationships you opened up to them about, maybe those relationships were like 10, 15 years ago, like a long time ago. And you've long since grown up and ended that cycle. Like that's not something that you're into. That's not something that you tolerate. That's not something that you're attracted to. So they made a huge mistake here thinking that you would resonate with not being treated well or that they could get away with doing whatever they wanted, coming in and out, having third parties. They thought that you were insecure. They thought that you didn't love yourself or something. It's like they thought that you would resonate with with being treated like that um and yeah I think it's actually the opposite I think that you're really turned off by people who do stuff like that I think you're really like you don't like the chase you don't like having to chase anybody if you have to chase anybody you're maybe you're old-fashioned in some ways where you're like you know the, the man needs to to come take me on a proper date open the car door for me bring me flowers like the man needs to step up you know um, so I feel like them kind of being in almost a submissive energy where they were trying to have you do all the work and do all the pursuing and you had to make excuses for them. I don't think they realized how much of a turnoff that was for you. Like you were turned off. That kind of shit does not resonate with you from what I'm getting here. That does not resonate with you. Yeah, they misunderstood something. They probably, you probably opened up about your past and they just assumed like, oh, well, she's allowed that before. She'll allow it again. They they need to consider things. It might have been like, you know, like I said, like a decade or more ago. And like, it's not, you've your type has drastically changed since then. Or maybe it was like a one-off situation where it's like you happen to get involved with somebody like that, but it's not your usual thing. But, but either way, yeah, it's like they, they thought you were insecure and, they, you know, the truth is, is no, you, you're not. And you don't want what you can't have. Like having the, like any kind of mind games is a turnoff for you. You, you hate that shit. Like you're probably really turned on by men that are like assertive, like dominant in the right ways. Like men that you, you're probably very turned on by like the kind of men that like have that daddy energy, you know, the kind of men that like send you those good morning and good night texts and, you know, message you every day and tell you they miss you. And it's like, you know, I've, I've been at work all day. I'm sorry. I've been thinking about you. Do you want to go out to dinner tomorrow night? Or do you want to go travel with me? Like I'm going out of town. You want to come with me? Like you like that kind of energy. You like being spoiled. You like being spoiled, like emotionally, like spiritually, mentally, like you love being spoiled by, by people that you're interested in. You love, you know, attention, you love, um, like in a positive way, you know what I mean? Like you want somebody that is all about you. You want somebody that is deeply in love with you and not afraid to express that love to you. You want somebody that, you know, is, is very vocal with their feelings for you. You want somebody that messages you every day. You want somebody that 
that takes you places, that wants to go out with you, wants to see you regularly, wants to travel with you. You know what I mean? Like you like people that are emotionally available. So whatever this person got in their head, I also feel like maybe this person is just, tell me about this. Illusion, why illusion? Yeah, they expected you to... Re they... <sighs> hmm. Give me a minute, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> if you had, like, a toxic childhood, they might have... This might be somebody who thinks that they're just, like, an expert at psychology and they think, like, oh, she went through this in childhood. I bet she's going to like this type of person. And you healed from that. You already healed yourself. You already put the work into healing childhood patterns or healing past relationship patterns or whatever it was. You stood your ground. You're not in that energy anymore. You're not in that illusion. Like you know who you are. You know what you deserve and you have for a long time. So this person really misunderstood something. I feel like you were probably like, God, I feel like this person played mind games because they feel like people just want what they can't have. So I feel like this person probably played little games, kind of going in and out, trying to play hard to get. Um, what they don't understand is that was a huge turnoff for you. That was, you probably saw them as a child. You probably didn't see them as a real man or a real woman when they did that. You were probably incredibly turned off. And it's almost like they were like delusional to, to an extent because the whole time I think they actually kind of thought that you were turned on by that. Like they might have been like, oh, wow, like, you know, I haven't messaged her in a couple of weeks and she messaged me first. Like I, you know, I guess that does work on her. I guess she does just want what she can't have. And like little, they, they didn't understand your mentality. Your mentality was probably like, wow, this man is a little bitch. He's not doing shit. He's not messaging me. I love him. So I guess I'll message him first and give this one last chance but like they didn't they didn't realize like what your energy was when you were having to do that you know what I mean like they thought they were winning something here like if you caved and messaged first they might have been like oh see she's chasing me and like your energy was probably more like oh my god I'm so fucking turned off right now like I don't I don't see this person as a real man but I don't have the patience so let's just let's you know I'll give it one last chance and message them and see what happens give them the benefit of the doubt but yeah, the whole time it's like they're thinking you're turned on, you're chasing, and you're actually just fed up. You're actually, it might not have even been a good thing when you did message them first because you might have just been at that breaking point where you're like, wow, I, I feel like this man's just a little bitch and I'm just going to have to message him first, I guess. Uh, but I'm about done or I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not feeling, it might have been like one of those things where you're like, I'll give it one last try because I'm so turned off by his emotional unavailability. I'm so turned off by him not talking to me daily or regularly that I'm, I'm just going to give it one last try before I say, fuck it, you know? And like, yeah, the whole time it's like in their head, they're like, Oh, see, like, like she's chasing me. It's like, no, that's, that's not what was happening. You might have even just gone silent for long periods of time because you might've been at that point where you're like, if I have to message first, I'm not going to, I'm not going to respect him as a man. I'm not going to see him as a real man if I actually have to to be the one to to do the pursuing, you know? Like so so there might have been like long periods of silence where you're just like I'm I'm not like I'm not going to feel the same way about him. I'm not going to be able to look at him the same way if I message first. So hopefully he'll message me eventually. Tell me more about this. Because you like men that are in a masculine energy. You like men that are like honest, brave, have integrity, assertive. The King of Swords is very assertive. He's ready for battle. He's he's just, he's fair. You know what I mean? Like he, he's not, he, if he is afraid, he's not going to let fear get in his way. Like you like men that are mentally strong and that recognize you as an empress, as all four queens combined. Men that recognize your worth. Men that are all about you. Why are the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords? Yeah, 
Yeah, if there was any kind of victim mentality that you were in, I think you ended that long ago. You're in your power with the Queen of Swords. It's really weird that this person actually thought that, like, you wanted what you couldn't have or that... Or that I think they have this like mentality of like people just want what they can't have, like have to play games, have to one up people like it's a kill or be killed world kind of mentality. Ugh. Yeah, because what they're discovering now is that you were always the empress. This isn't new. You didn't just come into your power like you've always been confident the entire time. The entire time that they saw you as, you know, someone being in a victim mentality or someone that was insecure, someone that was defeated, you were actually the Queen of Swords and the Empress the entire time. They just maybe didn't see it or maybe you didn't show them that side of yourself, but you've always been very mentally strong and very powerful. Even when you go through low points, you're still powerful. You know what I mean? Um, it's like you're someone that can flow with the light and the darkness. You can balance, you know, multiple aspects of yourself. But I feel like they might have misunderstood because maybe you have a very big heart and it's like you love them so much that maybe you made excuses for them. But like you were probably turned off the whole time, which is what they weren't understanding. You know what I mean? Like they thought that you were just resonating with being treated like crap or someone coming in and out, being inconsistent, where it's like you never resonated with that. You were always like, this is a huge turnoff, like you know, I'm starting to not see this person as a real man anymore. I'm starting to lose faith in them. But I know deep down, we have a strong soul connection. Like I know, you know, deep down, there is a very strong emotional bond there. There's a very strong telepathic connection, a very strong deep love here. So I'm going to try to be patient. I'm going to try to work with them. Hopefully, they'll work through their traumas and become an emperor and match my energy. But I think they t mistook your patience or your empathy, your understanding for um, for insecurity when that's not what it was. It was just, you know, you loved them so much that you tried to, you might have had times when you're like, oh my God, like if, if you were anyone else, if you were anyone else, I would just tell you to go fuck yourself right here and there. And you probably centered yourself, you know, Empress is, is you like, you grounded yourself, you're like, I'm not going to tell them to fuck off because I know that I love them. I'm going to be patient. I'm going I'm going to try to be understanding. I know they've been through a lot. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to just be patient. <laughs> but you probably have those moments where you're like, "Oh my god, like how am I dealing with this? Like how like he just said what or he just did what? Are you kidding me?" Like you you were not resonating with that shit. But yeah, there was some kind of miscommunication, misunderstanding where they thought that was your thing. Wow. I think this person also can't fathom how anyone could love them. I'm seeing, um, for anyone that like watches Once Upon a Time, I'm seeing that scene. Not that, not that it's like Beauty and the Beast relationship. I'm not saying that this person's like, you know, the Rumpelstiltskin, Mr. Gold character. I'm not saying that. But I'm seeing that scene where like Belle leaves the tower the first time. For those of you that have seen it, like you'll know what I'm talking about when like he like yells at her and he's like, there's no way that you loved me. I know that you were like plotting with the evil queen against me. And she's like, no, like I came back because I love you. And it's like, he was like, so in his head, he's like, no, that's impossible. And he like yelled at her and she started crying and she like leaves, you know, but like, she was trying to tell him, she's like, no, I actually do love you. And he's like, no, like nobody could, like, I'm a beast. Like, there's no way that you could love me. You know, I'm getting that kind of energy here where it's like, this person couldn't fathom that like this empress just like genuinely loved them, that it was that simple. You know, that she really just wanted them, that it was it was that was it like that. It was that simple, like not wanting their money, not wanting to drain them, just like genuinely just wanted to be around them, to be close to them, to be with them, to spend time with them. Um, and so I feel like that's part of why they told themselves like, you know, that this must just be a game of chase or chasey. This must just be a power struggle because there's no way that. You know, there, there's no way that someone would just love me and it would just be that simple, that easy. So it's like they kind of sabotage themselves there. So they, it's like they assume that you were just staying because of that, because of the games, like you were just chasing. And if they, if they committed, they thought that you suddenly wouldn't want them anymore or you would see something in them that you didn't like and you would leave. 
Um, and that's not the case, you know. I, I feel like I feel like you stayed because you genuinely love them on a very deep soul level. Like past life connections, soulmates, twin flames, like this empress had like a very deep love for this person, like who they are, like like the kind of connection they have, the spiritual bond they have, the the long, deep talks that they could have together, you know, uh, like just who they are as a person. But as far as, as energy goes, it's like you are very turned off by the energy that they are presenting, the inconsistency, emotional unavailability, hot and cold, um, mind games, third parties, all of that was a huge turnoff for you. Um, I think that you put up with a lot of things that with most people, like I said, most people, if they tried this, you would have, you would have told them to fuck off. You would have just been like, nope, no thanks, not for me. Like you wouldn't, you would have laughed in their face. You would never have tolerated this with anybody else but this person that you love. You know what I mean? So it, it's like the whole time it's like they're thinking this, this mistreatment is resonating with you when in reality you're... You're just, you're incredibly turned off by the way that they're acting, the energy they're presenting, the inconsistency, the way you're treat, the way they treat you. It's like you were like so turned off by it. And yeah, that's just, that's what I'm feeling. And it's like, you're trying to be patient because you know that you really love them deep down. Wow. I feel like at some point you might have even started being attracted to other men, not because you genuinely wanted other men, but because you're, it's like you wanted that like empress emperor energy. You didn't, you know what I mean? Like you might've started getting turned off and kind of being attracted to other men, not based on who they are, but based on the energy they present. Like if you have like a man that's like pursuing you and like texting you every day and wanting to see you on a regular basis and wanting to go do things with you and just, just a real man that like steps up and takes care of shit and, and shows you that makes you feel special, shows you how he feels about you. You know, I think that like, you might have been like started being attracted to men like that because you like you miss that energy, you miss that kind of like daddy energy that like alpha take charge in the right ways kind of energy. So you might have started like noticing other people more because you're like, you know, longing for that kind of assertive energy, you know, that was lacking in this connection. But then it's like, I think you would discover it's like, well, you were just wanting that energy, but you weren't, you know, this, this person that was not in that energy, not presenting themselves in the right way was, was the person that you really love, you know, the person that you have this soul bond, but you were just turned off because of the, the energy they were presenting. Okay. Let's wrap this up here. Two of pentacles, the fool. Yeah, it's like this person really underestimated you. And I feel like they're shocked to because the readings I've been doing recently, it's almost like they're becoming aware that you're the empress. And I think they're also becoming aware that you were the empress the entire time, like that you were confident the entire time you. You you like I said, you never resonated with the mistreatment, you never liked that, like you if you have to chase a man, you don't see him as a real man anymore. You're like, OK, this this. This is for children. Like I'm not, I'm, like the Empress doesn't chase anyone. She attracts, like she normally, her usual type is, is men that come after her, men that pursue her, men that really court her and take the time and, you know, are devote themselves and show their devotion to her. You know, she's a very powerful woman. She knows who she is. She knows what she deserves. So I think this made, I think this person made a huge mistake thinking you wanted what you couldn't have because it ended up, in the end, it just really turned you off. Like it built up where you just, you try to be patient, but you just became more and more and more turned off. It became harder and harder to see this person as a real man. You know, it became harder and harder to believe in them. And now it's like you're at this point where you're like longing for that, you know, it's like you're you're wanting someone, whether it's them or someone new, you're, you're, you're only aligning with somebody that's assertive, that's that's going to pursue you, that's going to recognize your worth. The Empress is not a second choice. She's the only choice or, you know, you can F off pretty much. Like, but yeah, what a huge mistake. What a huge, what a, what a big mis miscommunication here. I feel like too, they might have been used to dealing with women who are insecure. I don't think they're used to someone like you. 
And so I think they brought old relationship patterns, like little childish petty games that worked in past relationships or like power struggles or or um, things like that. I think that they brought that into that relationship, into this relationship, because, you know, dealing with women who are insecure, like they will resonate with that. They will resonate with being pushed away and not being loved like they will you know that feels normal to them they 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 don't see an issue with it you know what I mean so it's like I think they they just kind of assumed that you would be like all those other women and that they could get away with whatever they wanted and that you would actually be into that um and so it's like they try to play the same games that worked on women from their past and you're you're on a whole nother level they didn't understand you they didn't get you like that. Like they, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't make, it's like, they didn't make that realization. You know, it's like those little games that work on women that are insecure. They're not going to work on an empress. It's, it's not, you know, you tolerated it because you had such deep love for this person. But like I said, I mean, deep down, you didn't really tolerate it. Cause even if you didn't say anything, you were getting more and more turned off every day, like more like perspective shift. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's like, and I feel like it just like blew their mind. They're like, what? Like this, like this worked on other, like other women are okay with this or other women like this. Like why, you know what I mean? Like they, they didn't get that. Now they're recognizing you. They're recognizing that, you know, how confident you are and just that you're, you've always been on a whole nother level and that whatever worked on past women, it's not, it's like a whole new thing with you. It's, it's stepping into the un unknown, the unfamiliar there. Nothing that worked on past women is going to work on you. I almost feel too, um, well, here, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, I think they want a new start here. I think they want to build something with you. They don't want to juggle whatever they were juggling in the past. They know that you're, they see your quality now. I almost feel too like they might be projecting onto you like if they had a pattern of maybe they're the one that likes what they can't have maybe they're the one that likes toxic women or they like mind games or they like women that are you know in and out or there's just always some kind of drama like maybe they like a certain type of woman um, and so they just it's like they're so narrow minded that they just assume that everybody is the same as them that everybody thinks the same exact same way as them. So it's like maybe they projected that onto you. It's like they were they were the one wanting what they couldn't have. They were the one that was, you know, only attracted to emotionally unavailable people and just assuming that, you know, everyone else must be that way too. But yeah, they they fucked around and found out. They're they're really seeing they're seeing how confident you are. They they're really seeing you in a new light. They're having this like newfound passion for you. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.